into the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. Now there was a great herd of swine feeding. And all the devils besought him. All the devils besought, besought, besought Jesus. They still wasn't gone yet. That's right. Still not gone yet. That's right. They besought him. Saying, send us into the swine. Hey, we don't want to leave the country. Amen. So uh, send us into the swine. Into the swine. That we may enter into them. And then what? And forthwith Jesus gave them leave. Now, Jesus gave them leave. And the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. And what? And the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea. Yes. They were about 2,000 and were choked in the sea. Now for you that says that's the reason why you don't eat swine, that's a mighty poor reason. Amen. Because if you're not going to eat swine because the devil was cast into them, you better stop drinking water also. That's right. Because the swine and the devil went in the water That's and right. the swine drowned. Drowned. And see how long you last with no water in your system. Amen. Eh? Amen. All right, let's get the wrestling match here. Now, in the book of Ephesians chapter Now, six. this is what I want to show you. The devil don't always come out right away like it didn't do when Jesus was talking. That's right. Because the Bible says this. In Ephesians chapter 6 and at verse 11. Follow me. Put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor. The whole armor of God. That you may be able to stand. That you may be able to stand. Against the wiles of the devil. Against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not. Hear this. We wrestle not. Amen. We're not wrestling against, flesh, against and blood, flesh and blood, but against principalities. What? But against principalities. But against principalities against and powers. Powers. Against the rulers against of the darkness the of this world. Against the rulers of darkness of this world. Against, what is it? Against spiritual wickedness in high Against days. what? Against spiritual wickedness. Spiritual. Spiritual wickedness. Authority. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor that's of God. That's what we're wrestling against. That's right. So a lot of times you're praying for someone that's filled with the devil and that devil don't come out right away. Man become a wrestling match. Wrestling. That's right. That's One right. fighting against the other. That's right. Because he don't want to come out and you want him to come out. Amen. Because you're dealing with the spirit of rebellion, the spirit of stubbornness. That's right. Now let's go to heaven and see did he come out right away then. Now in the book of Revelation chapter 12 and we're at verse 7. You know all the information is in the book. Oh yes. Every drop of information is in the book. That's right. Amen. All right, hear this. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 7. All right. And there was war in heaven. What? And there was war in heaven. Satan is a warrior. Amen. War. That's why so many of God's people is having trouble with them. That's right. Some things they've been battling and fighting about within themselves. Oh, yes. Two, three, and four, and five years and still talking to God for deliverance. Thank God it seems like nothing is happening. Nothing is going to happen. That's but right. the Bible says he that come to God must believe. That's right. That he is. Hallelujah. Every water to them that Diligently diligent. seek him. You have to be diligent in seeking God. That's right. Hear this. And there was war in heaven. War in heaven. Michael and his angels Michael fought against the dragon. Fought. Fought. I fought. never heard of a one second war. No way. No, no. There ain't no such thing as a one second, a five minute war. <laughs> no, no. There was war in heaven. Michael and his Micah, angels fought the against the dragon. And his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought. And the dragon fought back. And his angels. That's right. The dragon fought. He's not a spirit that just lay down without a fight. He's oh, a fighter. That's right. Or that God ain't God church have to fight as well. That's right. And the dragon fought. The dragon fought. And his angels. Glory to God and his angels. And prevailed not. He didn't win. Neither was their place. Doesn't out. matter how long that fight was. That's right. The Prevail bottom line not. was he didn't win. That's right. So it doesn't matter how much prayer you got to give, how long the prayer have to be. The thing that I want, I want the devil to lose the fight. That's it. Yeah? That's right. All right, give me the book of Galatians, then we can go to the book of Jude. Now, so I want to straighten mm -hmm. out my mockers. <laughs> that's right. Who thought they had some joy. And that's one thing about the enemies of the truth. 
any slight thing that they think they can get joy out of, they're going to jump on it. Well, I want to pour your little joy rug for Monday. Yeah? That's right. And let you know you all just lied. <laughs> Amen. Because if the ones that were possessed by the devil testify that they delivered, that's all I want. That's it. That's what satisfied me. That's it. All right, let's have it. Now in the book of Galatians chapter 6 and we're at verse 7. Listen at this. Be not deceived. Begin at verse 6. At verse 6. Yes. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 6. All right. Let him that is taught in the word. Let him that is taught in the word. Communicate, communicate unto, him unto him. That teacheth in all good things. That's why the world, the world. The world. You need a man of God sent by God, not by some seminary school. That's right. Not to go take a three-year or five-year course searching out theology. Amen. The Bible said, he whom God has sent speaketh the words of God. That's it. And this is why the word of God is having such an effect on social media and every other media platform because it's the word of God word. spoken by God. That's right. No one said he called himself God. No, I didn't. No. I said it's the word of God spoken by God, not by me. That's right. Jesus told his apostles, it is not you that speaketh, but the voice of my father that speaketh, that speaketh, in, you. speaketh in you. That's it. So the preacher had no business trying to preach. That's right. That's it. Jehovah has to be the preacher that stands within the man. For it is not you that speaketh. Glory to God. Do you hear the Bible talking? In Matthew chapter 10 and verse 20. Glory to God. Glory to God. What did he say? For it is not ye that speaketh. It is not ye. Amen. That speaketh. But the spirit. But what? But the spirit of your father. That's what you fellas out there are missing. That's yeah. it. Amen. You're going Hallelujah. from place to place and you can't wake nobody up. And That's right. No fish, no souls, no nothing out there 10 years, 20 years, and 30 Hallelujah. years. And you're still sitting in the same place like you were when you got started. Why? God is not talking. That's it. That's right. That's it. When God talked, That's he right. said, my sheep. That's right. I don't care what color you are. Amen. My sheep will you. hear my voice. Well, hear my voice. And a stranger will not stranger, follow. And a stranger, they will not follow. That's right. I don't bit more Hallelujah. care what color you are. Amen. Anywhere in the world. That's right. When God talk, you got to move. That's, a, that's right. Ah. It is not ye that speak. When, uh, when one God, the one God of heaven talk, brother and sister, you're going to get moving because God Almighty going to work down in your heart until they bring you towards his word. That's right. Ah. It is not ye that speak. It is not ye. Amen. That speak. But the spirit of your father. Glory to God, but the spirit of God. Which speaketh that's in the you. Father. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Spirit of your father. That's yes. talking about God. Right. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Moses, and the God of the prophets, right. amen, that was sent out ahead of the Son of Man. And then when God was manifested in the flesh, not that God became flesh. That's one of the biggest lies you churches ever told. That's right. God became a man. God ain't never became a man. No, God. God remained God, then made a man child, and then got in that got man. In the man. Amen. God ain't never become flesh. God made flesh and got in that flesh That's right. and used that flesh as an example for us. That's right. He remained God because the Bible said God is a spirit. That's right. Mary wasn't God mother. Mary was the mother of the Messiah, That's the it. mother of the prophet, the mother of the apostle, the mother of the Lamb of God to take away the sins of the world. That's it. Owen oh, said, you sound like you're preaching to God. No. Oh, no. I'm talking about two natures, about the one. About the one. The spirit is divine. The man was human. That's and it. God, the divine, was in the human, reconciling the world That's unto himself. himself. That's right. That's what I'm talking. That's what you're saying. What did he say, son? Back in Galatians chapter 6 and verse 6. Yes. Let him that is taught in the word. Let him that is taught in the word. Communicate, communicate unto him with that him. teacheth. That teaches in all good things and everything that's good. Be not deceived. Don't you be tricked. God is not God mocked. is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, whatever a man put out, that shall he also reap. That's what you're going to get in return. For he hear does, this, hear this. That's right. Hear this, religious leaders. That's right. Entertain us. Be not deceived. Hollywood have taken over the churches. Hollywood have taken over religion. That's right. So-called church is not safe. Synagogues is not safe. Amen. Mosques is not safe. Amen. Hollywood is imitating all of them. That's right. That's right. 
and Hollywood is making mockery of God's word. Oh, yes. Somebody wrote me and asked me to look at a clip they sent me. I get people send me books, <laughs> want me to read to give their approval. People send me all type of text messages. Folks, I don't even recognize the number. Send me uh, movies that Jay-Z is supposed to put out. Yeah. Mocking Jesus. My Lord, my Lord. I believe it's called the book of, uh, the book of Clarence. There ain't no such scriptures called the book of Clarence. My Lord, my Lord. There ain't no better than the book of Mormons. <laughs> That's right. That's Someone right. said it's just a movie. Give me uh, Revelation 22, 16 quickly. Revelation 22 and Give verse Give me Revelation 16. 22, 16. Let's see what the God want us not to do. I, Jesus, have sent my name. I testify. I testify unto every man. To every man. That heareth the words of the prophecy. This is Revelation this 22, 18 here. For I testify unto every man. The apostle. That's right. Want to give us a testimony to everybody. That heareth the words that of the prophecy the of, words this of this book. If any man shall add unto what? The, if any man shall add unto these You're things. You're out there trying to make mockery of Moses, trying to make mockery of the prophets, trying to make mockery of the Messiah, That's right. trying to make mockery of God. If any man shall add unto these things. Can you imagine that? Imagine that. How they make a mockery of God. Anything to make money. That's right. Anything. God, people should not be sitting watching some so-called religious movie nowhere. Amen. Amen. That's not Moses. That's right. That's not Abraham. Amen. That's not Isaac. Right. Who said God had a, an Australian accent. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Who said Jesus talked like he was from North Philly? Amen. Amen. Who said Abraham spoke like he was from Great Britain? What's the matter with you people? That's right. How did you get so wicked and so weak? Amen. And so far from God? That's right. Until now you don't care don't what care. society is doing. They're That's making mockery. That's right. And getting richer and richer while they're making mockery of God and some of the, of the producers and writers and actors of all nationality under the sun. Amen. Amen. Hear me good. For I testify. Some of you churches have mm -hmm. plays in your churches. Yeah. I remember was I'm in my false church days. <laughs> We used to fellowship with the church in South Philly. Mm -hmm. They would always have plays. Mm -hmm. Like what's going on now, they have a big play out. Jesus Christ Superstar. That's a lie. That's a lie. Jesus ain't never addressed himself as no superstar. No. That's just as much as a lie as you religious people that made him the second person <laughs> in the Godhead. That's a lie. That's a lie. The Bible says in him the well of all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. That's it's right. all in one. That's right. Hey man, it's not in them, it's all in him. That's it. What did he say, son? Revelation 22 and verse 18. What is it? For I testify unto every man. Every man. That heareth the words of the prophecy of this so book. So God's people should never buy tickets. Mm -hmm. To go see some religious play, that's blasphemy. That's right. The moment a man step up there and try to make mockery of Jesus, try to make mockery of the prophets, try to make mockery of the apostles. That's religious mockery. Amen. And you go buy a ticket to go see it, you are promoting blasphemy. That's right. If you didn't know it, you know it now. That's right. God is not mocked. God is not mocked. In the world, hear right. this. God Almighty that made the worlds and all things therein, He is not mocked. He's not mocked. That's right. You bunch right. of religious hypocrites. God is not mocked. That be not you deceived. You are religious hypocrites. Amen. You that go to church, you that go to the mosque, and you that go to the synagogue, many of you are nothing ahead, but man. religious hypocrites. That's right. Someone say, well, I can win people to Christ by putting on the act. If you want to win people to Christ, do it the way the apostles done it. That's right. The apostles didn't have to pretend. They just preached the word. Preach the word. That's what they did. That's right. Jesus said, I'll make you fidgets of men. That's right. All you got to do is preach, preach the, the word. word and God will do the rest. That's right. Eh? That's it. Don't have to put on no play. That's right. 
Don't have to pretend. Don't have to hire no actors or actresses. That's right. Preach the word. The Bible's too real to hire some actor. That's right. That's it, man. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? For I testify unto every I man. I testify to every man. That heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. God, they hear the words. Of the prophecy of this book. Of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things. If any man shall add unto these things. God, God shall add, add unto him, him the plagues that are written in this book. God gonna plague you. And if any man yeah, shall. That's it. God gonna plague you. That's right. Any See man. you out there that write these scripts. That's supposed to be religious plays. Or religious movies. You add to the Bible. <laughs> That's, That's right. what you do. You add to the scriptures. Oh, yes. You take away from the scriptures. That's right. Amen. And you put things in there the word of God ain't never said. That's true. And when you put something in the movie that project, supposed to project the scriptures, a certain event that took place, and that thing contradict God's word, That's it's right. a lie. It's a lie. Do you hear what I'm telling you? That's right. It's just a straight up lie and this biblical mockery. That's right. Give me the book of Jude now. Now in the book of Jude chapter 1. Begin at verse 1. I Jude only have one chapter. That's I right. want you to follow me in the scriptures. Amen. It's right next to Revelation so you can't get lost. <laughs> only right. have one chapter here. That's right. All right, son, let's have it. Jude chapter 1 and verse 1. All right. Jude the servant of Jesus Christ. Jude the servant of Jesus and Christ. And brother of James. Hold it. You didn't say Jude, the apostle of Jesus Christ. No, the servant of Jesus Christ. I want to straighten that out because a lot of you preachers have said Jude, the apostle. Didn't say that. No, never. There's no way in the book that says Jude was an apostle. No, Jude was the brother of James. Brother of James. And he was a servant, a follower. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. It didn't say Jude was an apostle. No. Uh -huh. All right. Jude. Give me good now. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James. He was James' brother. To them that are sanctified by God the Father. Now, <laughs> the whole world, hear me good, need to be sanctified. Sanctified. Takes God to sanctify you. That's right. What is being sanctified? That's it. When you are truly sanctified, you are set apart, set, apart. set aside mm -hmm. for the usage of God only. That's right. Not God and the street. No, no. Not God and party. That's right. Not church and cross dresser. That's right. Damn me good. I want to soak you while I have you. That's right. What did he say? Sa and that are sanctified by God the and Father. And that is sanctified. Read the whole thing here. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ. Jude. The servant of Jesus Christ. And brother of James. Brother of James. To them that are sanctified. To them that are sanctified. By God the Father. By God the Father. By the Spirit of God. That's right. It takes the Spirit of God to sanctify men. Oh yeah. Take the Spirit of God to set you aside. Set right. you apart. Right. And these churches today are not sanctified. No. Because if you were sanctified, you wouldn't be smoking. No. You wouldn't be drinking. Gambling? How in the world a man gonna be sanctified? He can't make up his mind whether to put on a dress that morning or pants. <laughs> That's right. You ain't sanctified, you're crankedified. Crankedified. Hey Amen. You're crankedified. <laughs> That's right. A sanctified cross dresser. Mm. A, a, a sanctified cross dresser? A cross dresser. Can you imagine? <laughs> That's right. A sanctified homosexual. My Lord. Glory to God, glory to God, you better get this. That's right. There is no sanctified homosexual in the world. No, no. Not in the world. That's right. That's right. Thank God, I want to hit you while I have it. That's why these viewers that watch this program can't stand it and say he preach out of hatred and anger. One woman, amen, there's so many people that's, amen, logging up getting the program, some getting it to critique it, some getting it. So one woman, she must have been on, uh, in a bedroom or in the bathroom somewhere. It looked like it was a shower curtain in back of her. <laughs> she played the messages of the truth of God when I was in Texas and I was blasting false prophets like Amen Joel Alstein and T.D. Snakes and Kreffler O'Dala. And after she played a little bit of it, she said, uh, we, we rebuked the devil. 
my Lord, my Lord. Rebuke the devil. She said, God said, touch not my anointed mm. and do my prophet no harm. All of them devils I called out, none of them was God's anointed. That's right. Not one. That's right. And ain't none of them pulpit racketeers. Racketeers. Amen. It's God's anointed. That's when right. When you get a man that's anointed by God, you couldn't pull him out of the Bible if you wired the Bible with 10,000 atomic bombs. <laughs> if he right. survived, he's going to want to sit off and stay with the Bible. That's right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Eh? Amen. He's going to stay with God's word. That's it. You won't be able to pull him out that book to save your life. That's right. God, man, eat and eat breathe and sleep Preach scripture. It. That's it. Won't come out. Hallelujah. You won't. You can't offer me nothing. No. Nothing under the sun. Somebody said we offer you several hundred thousand dollars. What's that? What is that? My God, man, that's nothing to me. That's right. Hey, man, that's that's, that's not even peanuts. <laughs> that's right. I don't even look at that as peanuts because God made that. Amen. Huh? Amen. Peanuts is God's creation. That's right. Money is nothing touching God's everlasting word. That's right. When you either you walk with God or you don't. Or you Either don't. you can be bought or you can't. That's right. Eh? Amen. Amen. When God make a preacher, when God make him, God make him. You bear in mind, he can never be bought by nothing and nobody That's as right. long as he stay and keep God in front of him. In the book of Numbers, chapter 22. Says what? And at verse 17. What did he say? For I will promote thee unto very great honor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Balak. Glory to God. One there. They gave Balaam great honor. Great honor. Amen. And you bear in mind, man, Balak was offering Balaam all type of things. That's right. Give chapter verse again. Numbers chapter 22 and we're at verse 17. Yes. For I will promote thee unto very great honor. I will promote thee to great honor. And I will do whatsoever thou sayest unto me. I will do whatever you say. Come therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people. You know, Balaam was God's servant. That's right. Balak wanted Israel, the people of God, to be cursed. Be cursed. So he figured if he take Balaam mm -hmm. to different places, mm -hmm. change of atmosphere, That's right. and do sacrifice, yeah. he'll get Balaam to change his mind. That's right. The thing that Balak, or rather Balak yeah. overlooked, mm -hmm. was the spirit of God was in Balaam. That's right. You see, when the spirit of God is in the prophets, the prophets going to stick to God's word. Amen. There's no maybe so about it. They're going to stick to God's word. That's right. When these men will sell out, on God for notoriety, yeah. for, money. for money, amen, for fame, amen. for fortune. They <laughs> never was of God. No. Because when you truly walk with God, you'll be sanctified. That's right. Set apart for his glory. That's right. Thank God and for his glory only. That's right. What did he say? For I will promote thee unto very great honor. I will promote thee to great honor. And I will do whatsoever thou sayest unto me. What is it? Come therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people. Curse me this people. And Balaam answered and said unto the servants of Balak. What? If Balak would give me his house. This is how I feel. Amen. If Balak would give me his house. This is what the man of God said. That's right. You don't find a preacher say that today. Oh, no. Then later, these old liars will go off in a fake tongue. And yes, they would. Squinch their eyes and make up a tongue. Supposed to be speaking in some tongues when they get ready uh, enough to excite your hand and lead it right to your pocketbook. That's right. That's right. If he's of God, he had the same spirit that was in the prophet Balaam. Balaam, amen. Listen at what God said out of him. If Balak would give me his if house. If Balak amen. would give me his house. Full of silver and full. gold. Full. 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 Full of silver and full. gold. Amen. Glory to God. Full of silver and gold. Full of it, of silver and I, gold. I cannot I go. I Cannot go beyond the word I of the Lord. I cannot. Cannot. I cannot go beyond the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord my of God. The Lord my God. To do less. To do less. Or more. Or more. That's right. Why don't your pastor believe that? Amen. His old money loving racketeers. Amen. Mega church loving hypocrite. Do That's you hear right. what the word of God says here? If Balak would give me his house. I haven't seen a preacher on social media that talk this talk yet. No. Not one. Not one. These men the whole time they're over the air, they close their eyes and beg you for money. Yes, they would. They make you think if you don't give God no money, you're going to die. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Like some of you preachers that's 
uh, pastoring branch churches or some of the fake organizations you're in. Amen. Them preachers ain't think the overseer ain't thinking about your soul. No. The only thing he's concerned about is how much tithes come in there, how much offering come in there, and what does it take for the month. That's right. Had a Spanish brother contact me le uh, last week out of Colorado mm. in some apostolic organization. He <laughs> said he'd been following our broadcast for quite some time now. He said now he's, he's starting to preach. He's a pastor. Mm. He's, he's, he's leading preaching this holy sanctified message. Mm -hmm. And he told me, Pastor Jennings, you're so right. The only thing my organization uh, contact me about is how much tithing and how much offering. My Lord. They don't care about none of us. They don't care about who's saved. They don't care no. about how many need help. They don't care about nothing. Right. These preachers was raised by the devil. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> right. Amen. You know, you have some ahead, fish. <laughs> God, <laughs> God. Right. You have some fish that are farm raised. <laughs> That's right. I don't like farm raised fish. Amen. Oh, no. Uh, I want something where somebody went down uh, in a body of water mm -hmm. and bait that hook Amen. and reeled it in. That's right. Or give me something where someone took a net and threw it out in the water. I don't want somebody fishing in your, uh, your fish tank. <laughs> That's right. Not that. No, no. Or trying to catch some fish out of your swimming pool. Amen. I don't want that. Amen. No, sir. Oh, no. Amen. So it's just like there's some fish that are farm raised. Mm -hmm. Man, these preachers are hell raised. That's right. Raised by the devil out of hell. That's right. That's why he pleased you. He pleased you. That's why he preached what you love to hear. Mm hmm. That's why you like to get close to him and may he make you his friend, his buddy, That's right. his pal, so he can, especially if you's a, a big money giver. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Hey, man, I often think more over when that cross-dresser Tyler Perry went off into some fake tongue. Hey, man, Casper the ghost couldn't do better. <laughs> hey, man, right. that Looney Tune spirit. <laughs> uh, now, this is how backward it is. Amen. It ain't no lame member in here have the right or the authority to lay hands on me. No, no. No. No lay member. No. That's backwards. That's backwards. No lay member should be laying hands on the bishop. No way. The bishop's supposed to be laying hands on the lay member. That's right. And that cross dresser laid hands on him and he got that million dollar ghost and then while he's <laughs> up there shaking some old foolish woman some woman walking by screaming in the microphone, push the baby out. My Lord, my that? Lord, what was that? Push the baby out. Well, that? I know T.D. Jakes is big, but I didn't know the man was pregnant. Amen. She was yelling, push the baby out. My Lord. Push the baby out. Mm -hmm. There wasn't no baby in there. That's right. Mockery. Mockery. You religious fakers. That's right. Mockery. Mockery. We're going to blast it to hell. Amen. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Everybody in the world. Everybody. Come on back to scripture here. That's right. Everybody. Everybody. Come on back. You got away from God's word. Come on back. That's right.